as all of you know india is supposed to be the it capital of the world so the idea is that uh, to sh to teach anyone who wants to learn programming and become a reasonable expert uh, that's precisely what we have attempted to do uh, the uh, course is divided what we have the first set of modules that we are providing are on basics of programming data structures and algorithms and algorithms uh, the title of the course that i am teaching is on data structures and algorithms it, uh, basically it comes as a second course the first course on basics of programming programming in c then the next thing is what happens a data organization is extremely important for any algorithm to work in efficiently so what we have done is uh, in computer science there are already a set of data structures which have been defined which enable um, uh, efficient algorithms for working on specific set of problems so the uh, way the data structures are organized is that each data structure for example has a specific application and a set of algorithms which operate on the data structure it uses the paradigm of what is called uh, an object like in mathematics you have uh, sets and you know on sets you can do operations like intersection union complement and so on and so forth so we have different types of data structures with operations on them what is different about this is that the way you represent the data internally is kind of hidden from the user this is called an abstract data type the data representation is not known to the user a set of operations are performed on the data and these operations are available for the user to use so what are, what is nice is you have these data structures and the operations defined on them and then you can build applications which will use these um, data structures which have been defined my course is kind of targeted at someone who has done the basic programming course and at the undergraduate level normally about first year second year that's what we are looking at someone who must have an aptitude for uh, uh, you know some little bit of basic computer science must be known the way we have taught it is we have made them in 15 minute modules and for every 15 minute module there is a test and there is an assignment and i think it's possible to do it uh, you know sitting at home or anywhere Uh, it's just like I mean, even now today, you know, if you look at many of the video lectures, many of our students are studying from the video lectures. What is the advantage of this? You can, you know, you can fast forward, you can uh, rewind and listen to something again and again until you understand it. I think that is uh, with the changing paradigm of teaching and learning. You know, you go to a class lecture, you attend for some time, and then you have not followed something, and you have to follow up with the teacher. here the advantage is you can go back listen to it number of times and uh, also you can also i think post questions and get some answers that's the way we have uh, we have designed it okay. i mean i hope it reaches as many students as possible and best wishes to all the students who want to participate in this effort please give us feedback so that we can improve it good luck with the program and i hope you learn well the first at experiment we are more than willing to redo parts of it which you don't understand and you know help you with additional material so that we can improve for the future so this course is titled algorithms and uh, the design of the course is uh, that our focus is on design techniques on analysis of correctness and analysis of running time of algorithms specifically we have focused on a certain class of problems we have focused on arithmetic we have focused on sorting and searching we have focused on we have focused on pattern matching in strings and optimization questions in the subject of optimization we have focused on minimizing the number of arithmetic operations and also on setting up appropriate data structures to maintain the minimum distance information in a network i wish the students a happy listening experience to these lectures and do get back to us with your questions and we will answer them to help you learn better wish you all the best hi uh, i am shankar balachandran i am going to be teaching programming with c as the language so there are several languages in which you can program but in this course we have chosen c because c is a very fundamental language it's useful for a uh, lots of things including high performance computing writing device drivers and uh, so many other things so it's a very useful thing to learn and in this course what we are going to do is we'll use the language as a medium but we'll also look at problem solving so this course is aimed at uh, students who have uh, exposure to mathematics and uh, 
probably in the first year or second year of programming. So you may not have programmed in any language before or maybe you are exposed to a language like basic or something like that and it is meant at the beginners level. So you will see that there are lots of details that are in the course as you go along. The programming part of the course is structured as 10 lectures, one hour each over uh, 10 different uh, 10 into 15 minute modules. So I think you have about 4 modules per hour uh, into 10, so 40 modules and uh, it was specifically designed in such a way that for every 15 to 20 minutes you have a, s a simple idea you start with and it is taken to completion in the next 15 or 20 minutes. This module is especially useful for online learning because um, if you have only a 15 minute or a 20 minute break, you can still uh, learn a module and uh, be confident about what is taught in the module. And uh, so MOOC is uh, something that is coming up in various places, uh, especially in the West. In India, this is probably one of the early experiments uh, running a MOOC and uh, we are aiming at college students who are uh, willing to spend time and uh, put in effort at the same time do things at their own pace and uh, at their own uh, setup, so be it home or bus in which you are traveling or anywhere, so this is something that can come in handy for you. So programming is fun, so a lot of people run away from programming thinking that it is not meant for them, but programming is fun, it requires time and effort, but uh, this is something that anyone is capable of doing if you are willing to spend a little bit of time. All it requires is basic reasoning and uh, logic. I uh, uh, The course has been uh, put up in such a way that is designed in such a way that it is uh, going to help students to walk slowly and then be able to run fast. So I wish all of you the very best in uh, your career as well as uh, just in this uh, course. Do really well in this course, practice a lot of problems, do all these little things that we tell you as exercises. I am sure you will end up uh, enjoying this course a lot and also enjoy programming uh, at large.